in the next case a bag contains eight red and five white balls that means total 13 balls two successive drawings of three balls are made such that if the balls drawn in the first draw are replaced or the balls rather three balls drawn in the first draw are not replaced that means this is the case of with replacement and without replacement we are interested in the probability of getting three white balls in the first row and three red balls in the second row but the answer can be different under these two situations with replacement that means the three balls drawn in the first row are replaced before the second row that means the total number of balls remain same three are drawn and these three are again replaced and then in the second row three balls are drawn but in the case of without replacement we draw three balls in the first row without replacing them that means place them aside and now again three balls are drawn from the same bag that means the total number of balls at the time of second row will be three less than the number of balls in the first row say at the time of first row 13 total balls are there in the bag at the time of second draw in case of without replacement the total number of balls will be 13 minus 3 that means 10 this is to be considered at the time of without replacement okay. if the balls drawn in the first draw are not replaced that means are not placed back in the same bag the total number of balls will be now 13 minus 3 equals to 10 this is to be considered at the time of calculation of probability but let us take the case of with replacement now then what is the probability of getting three white balls in the first draw and after replacement three white sorry three red balls in the second row the situation remains the same eight sorry first five white so 3 out of 5 can be drawn in 5c3 ways and 3 balls out of 13 can be drawn in the 13c3 ways. So 5c3 is the favorable number of cases for drawing 3 white balls and 13c3 is the total number of cases. Now these 3 say white balls are replaced and the second row is made. Again what will happen? So at the time of second row 2 the situation will be same now we are interested in 3 red balls 3 red balls out of 8 that means 8c3 divided by 13c3 yes ok now simplify these two 5c3 what will happen with 5 5c3 5 divided by 13c3 yes what is 5c3 first of all 5c3 is 5 factorial upon 5 minus 3 2 factorial into 3 factorial so 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 2 into 1 into 3 factorial cancellation of 3 factorial 2 so total number of cases or other answer is 10 10 divided by 13c3 what is 13c3 13c3 yes 13c3 is 13 factorial upon 13 minus sorry 3 factorial 13 minus 3 10 factorial so 13 into 12 into 11 into 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 into 10 factorial and that is cancelled now 3 and 2 so it is 13 into 2 26 26 into 11 286 260 plus 26 it is 286 into 8 c3 what is 8 c3 okay you can simplify 8 c3 8 c3 equals to 8 factorial upon 3 factorial 8 minus 3 5 factorial that is 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial divided by 3 into 2 into 1 that is 3 factorial into 5 factorial and 5 factorial is cancel 3 2 divide cancel again 
6, so it is 5 7s are 56. 56 divided by 286. Just simplify this. It is 560 divided by so and so. That can be the final answer. What is 286 into 286? 81796. 81796. 6. 6. 6. Okay. Now you can get the decimal value too. But in the case of without replacement, the only difference will be at this place. The total number of balls now will be 13 minus 3, that means 10. The second row is made from 10 balls instead of 30. So the required probability, first in first instance, 3 white balls, 5 C3 upon 13 C3. Now believe that we have actually taken 3 white balls. 8 balls, 8 C3, but 13 minus 3. Why minus 3? Because the 3 balls drawn in the first draw are not replaced. So it is ultimately 5C3 upon 13C3 into 8C3 upon 10C3. Yes, the simplification gives us 10 divided by 286 into 56 divided by 10C3. 7 factorial, 7 factorial cancel. Yes, 3 is cancelled with 9 by 3 and 2 is cancelled by 5 with 10. 5 into 3 into 1 by 8. Yes, 120. Get the final answer. 560 divided by 286 into 120. 53,326. Yes, get the answer. 286 into 120. Yes, 34,320. Now you can get the answer into decimal values. The important point is, at the time of second row, the total number of balls are reduced by 3. Because we are not going to place the 3 balls drawn in the first row back into the bag. Without replacement of the balls drawn in the first row. That is the main difference between these two situations.